Picture this, the year is 1999. You are a huge Star Wars fan, but also a huge Lego fan. And at this point, the two have never done a collaboration. There is no Lego Star Wars. But on April 30th of 1999, you finally get a reveal for what is going to be one of the best Lego themes of all time. Lego and Star Wars join forces. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands. With the Lego X-Wing fighter, the Clone Wars rage on, and the Jedi need your help. You can build the Ark 170. You can build the Republic gunship to help the Jedi catch him. Since then, as we all know, Lego Star Wars has sweeped the world and become one of the most popular Lego selling themes of all time, if not the most popular toy of the 21st century. It is popular across all countries and cultures it doesn't matter if you are a star wars fan you probably are also a lego fan and this is the reality for most people collecting either lego or star wars products today but this was not always the case before 1998 in fact lego star wars was never even a conceptualized thing it was only a thing fans could hope for fans had to deal with their own ways of bringing star wars to life within lego through mocks and their own creations but in fact how did we even get to this position where fans were creating mocks like this in the early 90s to understand that we have to go back a little bit further before lego star wars came out licensed themes weren't even a thought of course lego at that point had done their own themes throughout the 60s and 70s space exploration became very popular with TV shows and movies like Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Dune in the 1980s, and so many other sci-fi projects. And in response to that, LEGO started their own themes, like the classic space, Blacktron, and other stuff to capture the minds of kids throughout that era and their need to explore space and explore stuff like Star Wars. And at the time, a lot of fans within Star Wars and these other things really did like LEGO. Of course, they grew up on it. They also, you know, Still might have even played with it to their 20s 30s built sets and whatnot and it was a large topic of interest for 20 or 30 years about star wars and lego partnering together to make a lego star wars theme of course lego never thought they could pull this off but when they heard rumors of star wars episode one coming out in 1999 they went to star wars and approach them with the idea of collaborating but this was not taken lightly at lego at first of course old kirk christensen commitment to the lego company was to never make war toys but in the late 90s peter eo the north american president of toy operations and all that went to star wars with this idea and pitched it and throughout six weeks of negotiations as is posted in the article which i will source down below they finally reached an agreement to release Lego Star Wars in 1999. But this again brings us back to what fans did before then. Unfortunately, in the 90s, it was not digitalized. There was not many digital records of Lego Star Wars fans at the time, but we do have some history of that to this day. Of course, there are still forums online of Star Wars fans before the 1999 Lego theme released. And most of them were mock creators. They were really detailed mock creators. And as you can tell here, even in the Lego magazines and catalogs back in the 1980s and 70s and 90s, there was a lot of Star Wars fans creating at at walkers that kind of look like the mini ones that they released in 2004. There was X-Wing Starfighters made by Alistair Stark, eight years old from Richmond, who sent in the space model of the X-Wing Starfighter to the Lego magazine. And also other things of Darth Vader, more Adat Walkers, X-Wings, and everything from all across the United States to the LEGO magazine, and what fans tried to capture the magic of Star Wars. But it wasn't until the early 90s where we seen Star Wars fans really get crazy with LEGO, and what Wolf Fan did, known as Maestro F. Fajuta, or MSF, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, he created the LEGO Star Wars trilogy in LEGO, and documented it all and posted online and what is one of the most remarkable things i've ever seen to this day with lego if you even look through their website this is what fans used to do back then they created everything with what pieces they had to them from the other space themes pirates whatever themes they had and they created some of the most remarkable lego star wars mocks and creations of all time to this day it's incredible what they were able to do creating millennium falcons the bespin duel the attack on episode 6 on Endor, there is just countless things that they were able to do back in the early 90s and it was without a LEGO Star Wars theme. And this is what fans had to do back then, there was no other option to capture the magic of their love for Star Wars 
through LEGO other than this. Now, other than this, we don't have many other documented records of what LEGO Star Wars fans did before 1999. But to me, this is absolutely remarkable, and I wanted to capture this in a video today showing you all what fans did before 1999. Of course, it must have been such a blessing in 1998 and 1999 to finally reveal that LEGO Star Wars was becoming a theme, the first licensed theme LEGO ever had, and what it has grown into today is just incredible. And what is probably the best toy of the 21st century, and what is near and dear to mine and many's hearts to this day. With all that said, everyone, I hope you all did enjoy. This is a little bit of a different video for me today. I hope you all could enjoy and appreciate what this is, though. This is absolutely incredible, and I wanted to capture it and bring it to light. Of course, I know other people also talked about it on uh, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, and other platforms before, but I wanted to talk about this in my own light and bring some more attention to it. So I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure that like button subscribing to the channel also helps. And with all that said, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.